Hey everybody, Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom to you. I had to share a couple of Emuna stories before Shabbat comes on. Um, some good stuff in our family. And um, it's always, always fun to see it actually happen. <laughs> uh, doing our best to teach the kids to have Amuna every minute. And we were driving last night, and I happened to be just chatting with my wife in the front seat, and the kids in the back, and I do sales for our company, and I was telling my wife that I felt like, oh, I would have gotten this sale if I would have had this little kit thing that um, talks about what we do, and I didn't have the kit with me. And I said, you know, I lost the bid to the, the competitor because I didn't have this kit. So my daughter, the, our nine-year-old daughter in the back seat says, Dad, you don't need that kit. You need a Muna. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, like, she's so right. And she nailed it when I didn't. And um, I, I said, honey, that's exactly right. I don't need any, um, you know, anything else. I don't need to trust in anything else but what Hashem has for me. So if he wants me to make a sale, then thank God we make a sale. And if we don't, then that sale's not for us. The job's not for us. So uh, that was really fantastic to hear her uh, do that really neat. So then another one, uh, my older daughter, uh, she is in a fencing class, you know, with like the little sword. And they had a makeup class because there was bad weather makeup class for her weekly session and the makeup class was going to be on Shabbat and she said no I'm not going to go I'm not going to go you know on Shabbat I don't want to do it and she was you know she was a little bit frustrated about it at first and uh, we said look we think God will honor you by you know by keeping Shabbat so she said that's fine I'm not going to go she didn't go at, on the on the makeup and then this past week whenever she went to class uh, for whatever reason, nobody else showed up. Like, th there were zero people showed up, and um, out of like eight or ten people that are in the class, nobody but my daughter and the instructor were there. So she had an hour-long private lesson, which typically would be very expensive, uh, but she uh, did not have to pay anything extra, thank God, because she had honored Shabbat, and we feel like God had uh, kind of sent her a little, like, hey, I saw that. So, anyway, look for those, hey, I saw that moments in your life, and do your best to put Amuna first. We don't always, but we absolutely must, absolutely must trust that every, everything that happens in our life is for the good, even the stuff that seems bad. Um, we might not get it, and, but we need to thank God for it and ask Him, how do we get it? So, uh, there you go. I hope you guys have an excellent weekend. Um, we love and care for you so much, and we're so happy to be a part of this wonderful, wonderful Amuna Nation.